I'm here with Hunter Grindle, owner of Hybrid Fitness in Thomaston. Want to tell us a little bit about Hybrid Fitness and how it came to be? Yeah, absolutely. So Hybrid Fitness started almost two years ago. Um, I pretty much was weed whacking uh, for rent. My sister came and was like, hey, I got a few friends who want to work out. We want to get ready for this thing called a Tough Mudder, which, by the way, is like this crazy <laughs> obstacle course. But like, but one catch, like, can you get up at 5.30 a.m. to do that? I'm like, I'm like an 18-year-old kid at this point. I'm like, I'm not getting up at 5.30 a.m., but we did it. And uh, over time, we just, you know, more people came and they started to work out. Um, actually, you know, about two or three weeks into working out, um, my sister and her friend who were doing the training, she came to me and she said, hey, Hunter, like, we go to, because they had been going to other gyms and other classes and things, and they said, Hunter, the thing that we really like about coming here and working out with you is that we just feel comfortable in our own skin. Like, we don't feel like we have to, you know, dress up. Like, we just feel like we can come and be ourselves. And so when they told me that, I was like, hey, like, that's pretty cool. And if, if they feel that way, um, you know, I'm sure a lot of other people are afraid that they wouldn't have that. You know? right. So that's kind of like what we've put out there and, and said, like, hey, you can come to hybrid fitness and you can work out and sweat and like be, a, you know, what a lot of people consider not their prettiest state. Right. Um, and not worry about it and, and work on bettering themselves. Um, so that's kind of how it how it started. And then from there, you know, it's just grown and grown. We've moved around a few places. We were in Warren, we were in Rockland, and now we're here on Thomaston Main Street. Kind of settled down. Settling for down. Now. I'm not I'm not <laughs> much of a settler, but we'll do it for now, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be working with Hunter over the next few weeks, um, kind of going over how to get into a workout and sticking with it. I know for myself, I haven't been to a gym in quite some time, and I'm actually in the worst shape that I've ever been in my life. So for everyone out there who's, you know, in the same position, how do you, you know, get them to come in? How do you get them to stick with something? Yeah, so when someone comes in, you know, who, who maybe does not have a lot of time on their hands, right? Um, the biggest thing is, is setting a plan in place that you're confident in. And if you don't have that, that plan in place, even if you get started, you know, you might run into injuries along the way or you might... Uh, you just might not stick to it or you might not see the progress that you want and all those things can be you know what stops you in, in the first place so um, there's really three things that you want to focus on when you are starting you know your health plan um, for success so the first one which is more important than any of them is is accountability right and motivation yes. because with the accountability you know if, if you had the perfect plan if you worked out and did the perfect things and did it every day um, and, and you had nutrition, but you didn't stick to it, or you didn't do it at all, it doesn't matter. The plan doesn't matter. So what you want to do is, is set up a system where you have, you're holding yourself self accountable, you have other people holding you accountable, that's making sure that you're doing what you need to do every day to make that happen. The other thing you need, of course, is, is exercise, and in specific, because there's lots of different types, right? But specifically, and it's what we do here, um, is we combine strength training, and we make that specific and we modify it to people's needs, combining that with circuit training, interval training, which is gonna really focus on getting your heart rate up. It's good for your heart. So when you combine the strength training, which is also, it's gonna improve your metabolism, it's gonna help build muscle, build strong bones, with the, the intervals that you're gonna burn calories, help your heart, help your lungs, you're really getting that complete package that you need to, to make a transformation in your body. And then finally, of course, we all know this one um, is the nutrition part of it, right? It's the worst one for me. It's, it's so hard, <laughs> right? Because, you know, you go to work all day and, and you get home at five or six and, and maybe you have the kids or the family, you've got to cook dinner, whatever it is. And the last thing that you have in your mind is, is taking care of yourself and making sure that you're getting the right things for you. So when you're talking about nutrition, the, the tips that I say, you know, just very basic. Now we'll get into it in more detail, you know, in the later weeks. But find something that, you know, doesn't seem like super hard to you. There's ways to make it enjoyable. There are amazing things out there that, that just taste awesome. And it doesn't take a lot of time to cook. And just by knowing those few techniques, you're going to be able to see huge changes um, with, with not as much effort as you'd think. It still takes effort. It still takes work. I'm not saying it doesn't. But there's, there's little tricks that you can put in there. Yeah. Well, what are we going to cover next week? Yes. So next week, I really, really, really want to dive into that first thing we talked about, right? Because we talked about accountability. We talked about the right type of exercise. And we talked 
about the nutrition. I really want to dive into accountability and give you all the tools you need to stick to the plan, right? Because that's what it's all about. And the great thing is, because I mean, we all have our health goals, right? But we all have other goals too, whether it's our relationships, right? With our careers, you can apply these to anything in your life, which is awesome. So this is going to help you out a bunch. And I can't wait to share it with you next week, Ember.